So I'd like to wax philosophical in this video a little bit. Uh, we're a very small company. We've technically been incorporated for about two years and it's been more than two years since I first started working on my car, this Nissan Leaf from 2011, one of the first Nissan Leafs sold in the Netherlands. Um, of course, we bought it secondhand, very cheap, about 9,000 euros, and it came with a 24 kilowatt hour battery that, even when new, only held about 21 kilowatt hours, and by the time we bought it, only held about 16. Um, I replaced that battery with a 40 kilowatt hour battery from a newer Leaf, and then I did an extender battery, really it was the other way around, I did the extender battery first. And uh, I've added three-phase charging to it, and by now this is, I would say, a good enough car. New. Like, if you would have to buy an electric car today, an uh, electric car with about 55 kilowatt hours usable, three-phase charging, it's a five-seater, it's relatively comfortable, doesn't have the best like automation and stuff but uh, like as a car for around I guess it would be roughly 20,000 euros if you bought all this uh, from us and bought the car secondhand it's a pretty good new car it's pretty cheap really oh it's got a tow bar which I use illegally but I mean it's good it's fine but you can buy a car like this. You can buy a Hyundai Kona for, what is it, like 33, 34,000 euros? It's got mostly the same things. It's a little bit newer, a little bit more modern. I would say it's a little bit of a better car. It can charge more quickly. So it's not like, it's okay. It's an okay car. But it's not like the best, right? So, you have to ask the question, is something like enough, or do you want more? Well, the answer is you want more, obviously. Ah, you want this, right? This is cool. This is like all the batteries you can fit in. Like, it's, ah, it's awesome. It's got 55 kilowatt hours. It's not fully charged, it's like 75%-ish. It's got 75 kilowatt hours of total usable capacity. Like this is no joke, this is like awesome. It's three quarters full. It says 370 kilometers. It says 512 kilometers when it's completely, f well, it says around 500 kilometers when it's completely full. I. Twittered a picture of this. This is like more, more. I was at the fast charger. It was almost empty. I calculated it took two hours if I wanted to completely fill it up. I think I made my point. So, this is our van. This is uh, the Muxan, well, EMV 200 van, I guess. Uh, we bought this van, well, I mean, two videos ago, so that's about a year ago. <coughs> we bought it at the end of 2019, and as you may have uh, guessed from the amount of videos I've been making since the end of 2019, uh, we haven't quite gotten uh, around to doing non-essential stuff, like including a giant extender battery into our own van. But times are changing, our order book has only doubled in the last three and a half months, so, uh, I mean, this is good news. I have some extra time and we decided, well, now is the time to make our party piece car, right? So this van is going to have everything plus more. It's a lot of capacity in this van. It is a genuinely usable thing now. Uh, of course, my Leaf has 55 kilowatt hours, this is 75. They both have about the same range. It's about 400, maybe 450 uh, kilometers in summer. Uh, I guess around 300-ish in winter. But I mean, like even the worst case, this van like genuinely has about the range of the diesel version of this van. But that is also 
a little bit of its downfall. Fast charging isn't fast at all anymore. It is dog slow. Uh, you might know that these, uh, these vans, they have air-cooled batteries. So they have a heat exchanger and a fan inside the main battery. Uh, and it's connected to the aircon system. So if you turn on the heat or turn on air conditioning, uh, the battery will also cool down. And even during a fast charge, the battery will cool down uh, if you turn on the aircon. And it genuinely does take two hours to charge at a fast charger. Uh, I mean, it's, it's nice to have a large battery. If, for instance, you are a company, something like a courier, uh, that has to go from, I don't know, Groningen to Goere uh, Overflakke in one go. I mean, that's fine. You can use it, but then you are uh, relegated to a faster, to sitting at a fast charger for literally hours before it's full again. So we don't really think this is a skew that will sell very well. So this here is a, an unfunnily expensive CCS um, 2.0 controller. So a CCS, uh, CCS is a fast charging standard uh, that is basically becoming the de facto standard in Europe and probably the US eventually. Uh, it's part of the J7072 standard, so it's already uh, pretty standard for AC charging and the combo connector is just an, a logical extension of that. Yeah, guess what this costs? Uh, we are going to add 175 kilowatt fast charging to this van and I think this is more of a necessity than you'd think. I think uh, a good electric car has a good um, balance of enough battery and fast enough charging options to make sense. I've alluded to the price of this CCS controller now. This is made by uh, Victor, it's a German company I think. Uh, distributed and or used by Phoenix Contact as well. This this is not a viable option. This is not actually something we're selling on the website right now. Uh, very few people are going to be willing to shell out that much money for, I mean, there's the van, there's the battery, and then there's this. It's getting into the ridiculous money category at this point. Um, but the reason I kind of jokingly started this video uh, the way I did is there is literally no other van on the market that can do this. Uh, this is probably the only offering for a while, uh, especially if you want something that uh, isn't like a huge uh, wind catcher, uh, e.g. Mercedes Vito, or e Vito, I guess. Like stuff like the Volkswagen e Crafter, only got um, 35 kilowatt hours. Uh, we really think that this is uh, the Leaf extender batteries. That whole project is genuinely to keep those cars on the road, and we will be expanding into other cars like the Zoe, the Outlander. Um, they need extender batteries. They need battery re replacements, essentially, to remain usable cars in many respects. But these vans, I mean, they're commercial vans. Uh, as a local delivery van, I honestly think. There is a market for 24 kilowatt hour EMV 200s. It is kind of okay for companies like DHL. And the 40 kilowatt hour version is fine. Uh, it's not ideal. It's the, the people carrier version is kind of bad. Uh, like taxis would kind of want to use them, but we get so many taxis asking us, can you improve the range of this car for a reasonable price? Uh, yeah, as a pupil carrier, it needs more range, but like just as a delivery van, I think it's okay. Uh, what, what we're really doing with this kind of stuff is making it better than Nissan has ever envisioned this car to be. So, yeah, this CCS, oh, maybe we'll throw in three-phase charging, I don't know for sure. Uh, we just got four six-kilowatt chargers in. We have three people waiting who have already paid for three-phase charging, 22 kilowatt phase, three-phase charging. So I think we'll reserve those chargers for those people instead of wasting it on... I, I just cannot get over how cool this battery is. I purposely left it open. 
uh, so I could show people. I, I don't think this battery will be closed up anytime soon. It's too cool. Oh, and also, we're doing fine. Don't worry about us. Uh, we know the disease that shall not be named uh, is making life very difficult for many companies and many people. We're all healthy, we're fine. Uh, company's doing great. Uh, we're doing more than ever. Uh, since the last time I talked to you, we probably doubled the number of cars that we converted. Uh, we're now hovering around 40, 41. Uh, yeah, tomorrow is the 41st car that we'll uh, do something with. Uh, this time it's an extender battery. Uh, keep an eye on our Twitter. But uh, this video, I'm uh, bored of the giant update videos with uh, a million things to discuss and chapters and that kind of stuff. I'm just going to make separate videos for every topic. So, uh, see you in the next video. Bye.